we often realize our farming picture is changing. Our farms are getting larger. We expect more from every acre and from every animal in our herds and flocks. Most important of all, farming today requires much greater production on the part of every man. Today we must handle more acres and still have time to manage our soils and farms better than ever before. At the same time, we all want to have extra hours for better living, time for family and friends, time to keep up with new developments and community activities. It's a big order which faces our farmers today. The only way in which we can hope to measure up is with new tools which will do more productive work in a day, do it at a lower cost, yet require less of the operator's strength and energy. More than 20 years ago, big low-pressure tires were one of the first revolutionary improvements to increase work capacity of farm tractors more than 25%. Mounted tools were another step along the road to greater convenience and efficiency of farm tractors. A more convenient way of hitching and unhitching mounted tools came next with the famous Alice Chalmers snap coupler hitch with only a single point to line up and lift arm latches which are snapped off or on right from the tractor seat to reduce get ready time for all field operations. In the tractor engine itself, the power crater design brought 45 horsepower and a new high end torque for tough going. And recently, the WD-45 family has been expanded to include the new diesel engine with tornado turbulence. Now we have a family of WD-45 tractors, gasoline, LP, and diesel, all with big capacity power. Here are tractors weighing from 45 to 4,700 pounds with the extra power to handle much larger and heavier implements than the usual tractors of this size. For power takeoff work, each of these tractors is equipped with two-clutch power control. A push of this hand-clutch lever stops the forward motion of the tractor, while the power takeoff drive continues to power the harvesting machine. A pull of the lever and forward motion resumes. One key to putting modern engine power to work without adding cumbersome cast iron weight to the tractor itself is the automatic traction booster introduced by Alice Chalmers in 1948. This model shows the basic principle. The ratio of weight distribution here is typical of most farm tractors. About 25% on the front axle and 75% on the rear. This four pound brick will represent an implement. It's attached to the model through a turnbuckle with all the bricks weight resting on the table. As the turnbuckle is shortened, the model starts to support the bricks weight in the same manner as the hydraulic system on the tractor supports the implements weight. Since it's hung behind the tractor, the implement weight plus a proportion of the tractor's front end weight all bear down on the rear wheels. Nearly all the weight can be supported without raising the brick from the table. Likewise, in the field, nearly all of the implement's weight can be supported without changing its working depth. Shortening or lengthening the turnbuckle increases or decreases the amount of weight on the rear wheels. In the field, once the hydraulic lever is set, the traction booster does all this automatically. The actual parts of the hydraulic traction booster system look like this. Its automatic action starts here at the single hitch point where the pull of the rear mounted implement is continually balanced against a spring. As the implement pulls harder, the hitch point moves back slightly. This movement works control linkage leading to the Alice Chalmers hydraulic traction booster pump. Positioning the hydraulic control lever near the tractor steering wheel instantly adjusts the traction booster system for just the amount of action required. A traction booster indicator shows where to position the control lever and indicates at all times the action taking place. From the hydraulic pump, this line carries oil under pressure to these powerful hydraulic rams. 
As these lift arms carry more or less of the implement, they add weight to the rear wheels of the tractor. Whenever the implement pulls harder and needs more traction to keep it moving, the traction booster system automatically adds weight to the tractor's rear wheels. When the load becomes lighter again, the traction booster releases part of the implement weight. Once the control lever is set, the weight transfer is entirely automatic from one end of the field to the other. It turns implement weight into working weight to save time, fuel, and cost. As the operator raises the hydraulic lever, he turns on the traction booster to any degree required. After that, it works by itself. The harder the load pulls, the more weight is added to the rear wheels to make them grip the ground tighter and keep the implement moving. This indicator shows the operator how far to move the lever in the first place and exactly what the system is doing at all times. The traction booster is also important in fuel costs, as this simple test will show. Since this will be a test comparing work done with and without traction booster, the traction booster is first locked out. The regular fuel supply is turned off and the engine run until the carburetor is empty. Then the fuel from the test bottle is turned on and plowing is ready to begin on a measured course. That's the end of the run. 1,200 feet of plowing in these soil conditions. Now, the whole process is repeated with the traction booster turned on. Here we are approaching the place where the fuel ran out the first time. Look at the fuel that's left for extra plowing. Finally, the fuel is gone. But all that extra distance, 25% in this particular test, is extra work done because of the traction booster. Until now, Traction booster savings have applied only to fully mounted implements, those which could be lifted completely by the tractor during turning and transport. Previously, big capacity implements like this, weighing nearly a ton, could be handled only with a heavily weighted tractor. But now it can be done without weights by a new engineering principle. A fundamental advancement in power farming has brought traction booster advantages to big capacity implements. The WD-45 tractor already had the power to handle big capacity tools. And through the traction booster, the WD-45 could add weight to its rear wheels as needed to pull heavy loads. Now, engineering in action has provided a solution to lifting big capacity implements during turning and transport. Alice Chalmers engineers have broken through the weight barrier which formerly limited traction booster farming to full mounted implements. Now implements with their own transport wheels have all the convenience of direct mounted equipment with single point hitch, plus the added efficiency which comes with a traction booster as it turns implement weight into working weight. This is the greatest fundamental advancement since rubber tires added 25% to tractor efficiency nearly a quarter of a century ago. The automatic transport valve makes it possible for the traction booster system to work with big implements that have their own wheels for lifting and transport. As a result of engineering in action, the size and weight of implements are limited only by available horsepower, not by the amount of weight a tractor can lift safely. Up to 1,570 pounds may be transferred automatically to the tractor rear wheels as needed for traction. Alice Chalmers engineers have determined that 1,570 pounds can be transferred safely to the WD-45 tractor without affecting the stability of the tractor. Now suppose we want to lift the implement. Oil pressure is quickly built up in the line and the ram raises the implement on its wheels. The lift required is provided through the hydraulic system with a built-in delayed action. With this system, the front of the plow enters the ground first, 
A slight delay in lowering and in raising the rear of the plow keeps headlands straight across. This new principle in power farming also retains the convenience of snap coupler hitch for attaching or removing the implements. And Alice Chalmers power shift wheels add further to making job changeovers quick and easy. Engine power moves the wheels in or out quickly and safely without use of jacks or hoists. Implements pull easier because much of the sliding weight is turned into a rolling load carried on the big easy rolling tractor wheels. With engineering in action, we have reached a new milestone in farm mechanization. The powerful WD-45 tractor with its traction booster and transport valve gives you ample power and traction to handle big capacity implements. Another Alice Chalmers first for better living, better farming, and lower power costs.